Brian Claypool joining us now, the criminal defense attorney, with um, with more. Good to see you, Brian. Uh, thoughts today as it's pushed. It's a lot of this is politics in L.A. with the new D.A. coming in, replacing the old D.A. But where are we going here? Eventual freedom uh, for the Menendez brothers? Yeah, Connell, great to see you again. Yeah, this is no surprise because we have a new district attorney, Nathan Hockman, coming in. He he beat George Gascon in the election. As your reporter noted, he's not taken office till December 3rd. So this judge is doing what he should do from a politically correct standpoint. Let's wait to let Hockman weigh in. But that said, he allowed a couple of family members to testify today. That signals that there is going to be a full-fledged hearing on the merits, on a resentencing. That is actually a big victory uh, for the Menendez brothers, brothers, because this judge, Connell, mm -hmm. could have said today, hey, I'm not going to have a resentencing hearing, but he's now persuaded he's going to let Hawkman weigh in. And just so your viewers know, he, it, it doesn't really matter about what the new DA says. Hawkman can come in and say, hey, look, I don't I don't want to resentence these guys. They should spend the rest of their lives in jail. And the judge can still decide, like he has, right. that he's going to have a hearing. On the resentencing. That's a good point and an interesting point, too, because then it'll come up uh, in late January, even if Hockman were to weigh in earlier than that and say, to your point, I'm, I'm against this. That would uh, be interesting if that happened. Uh, on the merits, to use your term there, let's talk about the merits, because the new evidence that you know they say has come up is a, is a couple of different things. One, the letter that one of the brothers wrote to a, a relative before the murders took place and supposed to outline, right, the uh, sexual abuse, the abuse that uh, was allegedly perpetrated by uh, the father. And then the other one is this, uh, this guy was, when he was... A child was a member of the boy band Menudo, claims that he was raped by Jose Menendez in, in 1984 when he was 13 or 14 years old. What about the merits of, the, of their case now, 35 years later? Yeah, Connell, the merits are, are very favorable for, them, for the Menendez brothers. In addition to what you've just mentioned, there is a law in California that says if you commit a murder, you're under 26, mm. that it can be reduced to manslaughter, which is 35 years to life. And that's that's, to me, one of the most powerful arguments by the Menendez team, because they're saying, hey, look, legally, you know, th th these guys have already served their time. They were under 26. I suspect that law is in place because of the mental acuity of younger people when they're committing serious crimes like, well, like that. But look, that law alone, it gives them traction. Then when you add in the additional evidence, this note written by one of the Menendez brothers a month before the second trial, this court, the, the court in the second trial doesn't allow evidence of the, of, of the child sexual abuse. That is really powerful evidence in their favor. Connell, you know I've represented over 100 victims of sexual abuse as minors who are now adults. And I'll tell you, they have PTSD. I've seen forensic psychological reports that indicate that these, these folks are traumatized. Some, some of my clients, by the way, are now in jail for very serious crimes because they, they have no outlet for this. They, they end up getting angry right. and committing crimes like this. So we live in different times. I think, if, if, I think this Judge Connell is going to allow in evidence from forensic psychologists to talk about that. And I think at the end of the day, you're going to see uh, this judge uh, granting resentencing. But one last point. The judge doesn't then decide if these two Menendez brothers walk free. It then goes to a parole board in California that has to make that ultimate decision. Okay, so next step, late January uh, 30th and 31st. Let me, while you're here, ask you about Sean Combs for a moment because we were watching this Diddy News late on on, uh, on Friday and then we're supposed to get a ruling from the judge on his bail hearing. You know, he's asked for bail a number of times, it's been denied, and now, you know, there's this other push to have some sort of home confinement, whether it, I think he wanted Florida, they didn't seem so hot on that, so maybe it's his apartment or an, an apartment here in New York. Uh, any chance... Uh, in your view that the judge here rules in Diddy's favor, or do you expect him to be sent right back to jail to await trial? Yeah, Connell, it's really difficult to, to, to go to another judge after previous judges have denied bail and expect that judge now to undo what these other judges have done. So I think the chances are slim. And, and you also need some new circumstances to, to, to get, you know, for example, home confinement granted here. And I'm not sure... Uh, what these 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 powerful new circumstances are, other than what's called in the legal world, your your forum shopping. In other words, one or two judges don't give you what you want, so you're going to go before another judge and try to get that judge 
to give you, uh, you know, bail here, at, at least with home confinement. That said, look, I, you had me on before this went down, and yep. I, I still believe that, uh, you know, absent more evidence here, I, I, I think if Diddy's putting up $50 million in, in bail amount, he's going to subject himself to home confinement. There's really no evidence before the court right now that he has harassed or intimidated witnesses. Uh, I, I don't. I, I really don't understand why uh, the court won't grant bail. Well, we'll see. Uh, we thought we'd get it. You know, some sort of a ruling. It's already uh, 4:22 Eastern time. We haven't gotten yet, so we'll pass it along if we do. Uh, thank you, Brian.